breaking news. Governor Uzodema blames bad politics for emo killings. Ask God to expose those who are, are killing people in, in emo states. He also asks churches to pray for emo states. Hmm. They say one that shall never cease to end. Well, this is not a shocking news because APC government is known with this. They can blame anything for their failures. This is somebody that, this is how you know someone who is not ready to learn. We, who is not ready to take, you know, um, who is not ready to take uh, corrections and all that. All the time, these people blame this and this and that and all that for their failure, just trying to exonerate themselves. There is nothing you can say about this, you know. You are the governor of the, uh, the state. You're supposed to be responsible for every other thing happening there. You understand? Because you are the governor. The first assignment is for you to protect the lives and the, 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 the lives of the citizens and their property. That is the first assignment a government should do. But this APC government, you know, had failed us. They will, they, they will pick on this. They will pick on the other one, blaming this and this and that. Surprisingly, yesterday, the, the, the president, the, the president, Mohamed Buhari blamed the uh, Russia-Ukraine war to insecurity of Nigeria. We could not tell me we think consign that one. What when did they fight for Ukraine and Russia? Nikon, they cause insecurity in Nigeria. This APC don't blame COVID-19 pandemic for their failures. They don't blame NSAS. They don't blame PDP. They have blamed agitators. There is nothing they have not blamed for their failures. So you see, this is how you know how, uh, know that these people, they have nothing to offer. They have done their best. You understand? Well, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. May God bless you all. Governor Uzodema of Imo State blames bad politics for Imo killings. Conveys that killings in Imo State are politically controversial. Governor Hope Uzodema has said he is confident that God will expose all those behind insecurity in Imo in general. If the people remain fervent in their prayers. The governor also urged the church to be stand first in prayers as the instruments of war used by the enemies of the people to kill and destroy cannot be compelled with the strength of God Almighty who protects his people in times of difficulties. The governor spoke on Friday in his remarks at the Admira Ndubisi Kano Square in Uwere. On the occasion of the second edition of the annual Imo Prayers as a special guest, the event which first edition was organized last year by the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion has the theme at the name of Jesus for the 2022 edition. Governor Uzodima said he is to be contradicted that the insecurity in Imo State is politically Contrived and prayed God to arrest and expose all those involved in the evil art, no matter who they are and where they are. Why citing happenings in Somela, Ethiopia, and Yemen, and the uh, the attendant human mystery brought about by the war in Russia and Ukraine, and how developments in those areas have been arrested by wars and insecurity. Uzodima, however, acknowledged that the development today in Imo State is gradually picking up because the state is relatively coming back to normal. The prayer session had attendance of all the bishops serving under the Uwiri, Ecclesiastical province of the Anglican Communion, headed by Most Reverend Dr. David Onoha, who is also the Bishop of Okibwe, 
sad diocese. Okay, so what about those people, the Ebubago uh, Abizin killing? What about those people, the Nigerian army are killing? So is it the same uh, politically, uh, um, uh, whatever? Because we learned that the Imo state governor brought Imo uh, uh, army to, to the state in the name of fighting agitators. You understand? And killings have been going on. Like what I said in the beginning, all these blaming uh, uh, games should stop and face the reality. You don't bring army to, to settle issues. Army, they, 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 they were trained for war. You understand? So all this kind of thing that is going on in Imo State, <laughs> this history will not uh, 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 forget you in a hurry because the killings are going are, are becoming so much even those people who the nigerian army we adopt and their family members never knew their whereabouts till now who do you blame still the opposition because it's always blaming the opposition party in emo state okay someone said this is one of the biggest and upright politicians the Southeast has ever produced. Thank you for killing my people. The blood of the innocent souls you wanted, you wasted in Imo State, we keep tormenting you forever. Okay. So, you now know that, and you are saying IPOP and the ESN are the ones killing innocent people. God, we will never leave you unpunished. Virtual, stop deceiving yourself. We are aware of your agreement with your masters in the north, and very soon God will expose you, Zadima. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe if you have not. Thank you for always listening. Mm -hmm.